I think as our children get older, we need to talk with them very overtly about what type of friend they want to be, what kind of friends they want to have, and to convey that everyone deserves friends they can trust. We need to convince them that if they watch social exclusion and don't say anything to stop it, they are conveying their approval. So what would defending look like for social aggression? If we were going to teach our children to defend, what would we need to do? A wonderful clue comes from a really nice study by Donna Eater and her colleague Enki. They just put video cameras with microphones on lunchroom tables and they accumulated 952 episodes of gossip and then they analyzed how they unfolded. In 80% of these episodes, after one person made an ugly remark about someone else, everybody else piled on. And so if someone said, oh, Marion Underwood's fat, 80% of the time, everybody would join in. Oh, she's huge, moo, she's a cow, needs her own zip code. But 20% of the time, one person present would immediately challenge the negative statement. If one person spoke up immediately, it was over, it was done, nobody else joined in. It had to be immediate or it didn't work. Eater and Enki knew who was popular, who just kind of had regular peer status and who didn't have many friends. It didn't make a difference. That is something we could teach our children to try. We could teach them, when you hear ugly gossip, say something, say anything so that everybody else doesn't pile on.